Salam. Recently I was reminded of a reading or two readings that I did uh, in April of last year and it included the work of Escher. And when I started to look at tessellations, I was like, you know what? This is a beautiful opportunity to explore. And it seems like a lot of readings talk about letting go to make room for a new. And yet it's a creative process to learn what needs to be let go of. So what do you need to cut away in your world? What needs to be released? And can you explore the process of being human in this lifetime and appreciate this opportunity to learn and grow? Easier said than done. So tessellations, what you're going to need is paper to cut. So cardstock is best and some tape, scissors, and whatever media you, you like, pens, pencils, whatever, and then paper to draw on. And tessellate, it means to form a pattern that fits together perfectly without any gaps. And so <laughs> how is life aligning for you? And what work do you need to do to clean things up? So that you have clean lines for example with tile work or it's just one example i just happen to be in a tiled room and i'm like staring at the ground right now but there there is some order involved in putting things together and it you know you might make a mess before you put things together i hope this symbolism serves well and so what do you need to do i'm going to give you the instructions and then i'll just like do a, a time lapse so you can see it in action. <laughs> but you want to begin with cardstock and then cut one side and tape it to the other. Cut, cut the bottom or the top and tape it to the other side. And it's interesting because your brain, with to me, with any art drawing, has to let go of what you see. If I'm drawing an apple, I can't think in terms of an apple or I'll have something that's very iconic, very kind of cartoony. But if I separate my brain from what I am rendering and look in terms of light, dark, shadow, texture, color, and the variations within that, I'm able to, it's like detaching uh, to create. And in this case, it's like seeing bigger picture rather um, and being open to what comes through. It's, it's interesting, the process of doing these. Um, you want to line the shapes up each side and be creative with that. And then you're gonna trace the shape that you create on a piece of paper and you can decorate that however you want. I think that's it. <laughs> well, those are the, the quick steps and instructions and um, I'll play with it a little bit and let you see it. Hope this serves well.